Hello everyone, welcome back to BPO interview tutorials. Today we came up with an interesting concept wherein we will learn today how to create the reports and dashboard using Google Sheet. So today's topic is learn about Google Studio which will help us to create the dashboards. So before starting the video, I would like everyone please share, subscribe the channel, also click on bell icon to get the notification. Please also check the playlist wherein you will find videos related to trainers, quality, operations, team lead, quality team lead, people management, MS Excel dashboards reports and also the Excel tricks. Please do watch and crack your interview uh, while working with the company. So or else you are fresher. So you can crack that very easily. Let's start today's concept that is on what is Google Data Studio and its introduction. Uh, this Google Data Studio now also known as Locker Studio guys. So the Google actually uh, added uh, the new name here which is Locker Studio. So with the help of Google Sheet I believe everyone know that in a different organization we are using Google Sheet wherein we are adding our data there. What is the main advantage of using the Google Sheet? The Google Sheet wherein we are using it that will be centralized and anyone can access that if you are giving the uh, edit or view access to the other employee or else with the help of Google Sheet your data will be at a centralized space that is on the Google server wherein the issue regards to the crash or data removal will get reduced. So that is the reason people nowadays are going with the Google Sheets. Now to prepare a dashboard using the Google Sheet uh, we will use da Google Data Studio. So today we will see the steps to log in the Google Data Studio also the advantage of it. Let's start today's concept. What is Google Data Studio? Google Data Studio is a web based data visualization tool that will help user to build customized dashboards and reports. So for an example you are working as a quality or else operation team lead or maybe quality analyst trainers. Okay. What you will do? So if you want to prepare a dashboards, you already have a raw data with you in that raw data which means in the Google Sheet and you want to prepare a dashboard for that you can use the Google Data Studio which is also known as a Locker Studio. BPO and call center people are using this particular Google Data Studio to, uh, to prepare the, uh, the dashboards like KPI, quality, performance, attendance tracker, capacity tracker, PKT, many many reports and dashboards are there that you guys can prepare. And uh, the best advantage of Google Data Studio is it is not only restricted to the Google Sheet, there are multiple data you can embed to it. It's, it's not only with the Google Sheet, there are you can embed docs, you can embed the uh, like uh, various programming language, so many things you can do here. And uh, the one more thing, uh, if you are working with a call center, mainly you guys will use with the Excel Sheets, that is Google Sheets. You can use it for your own sheet, you can also use the sheet was owned by the different. But make sure that the different user who is the owner of that sheet, he should give you the editor access. Then only you can uh, use the same in the Google Data Studio. I'll give you a good example here. For an example, you're working as a quality analyst. Okay, every day uh, there are your quality team lead. Okay, you have five quality employees working under you. Every day those are doing the 2020 audits and they are adding their raw data in the Google or uh, maybe Google Sheet or Excel Sheet. They are mentioning either the call was good and they are marking down with the parameters also. Now every day quality team lead need to collate all the data in one particular sheet and he need to prepare the dashboard. If you are using a Google Sheet everyone will add their data into one particular sheet. With the help of that particular sheet use the Google Studio and prepare the dashboard. Every day the people will add the data. Google Studio automatically refresh the things in 20 minutes guys. It will take a time of approximately 20 minutes. Automatically the data will get refreshed and the dashboard will also get refreshed. So I will tell you, I will teach you each and everything step by step guys. Today just we are going with the introduction. Let's step to do the login to the Google Data Studio. I will share the link in the description box as well so that you can directly get that. So just you need to click. You should have a Gmail account for it. If you are working with any of the organization or any of the company, make sure you are taking the approval from your higher authority 
to prepare the dashboards because few companies may have restricted towards the other sites okay so please make sure you are taking the approval tell them the benefit of using the google studio okay because i have seen that most of the organization are using the gmail as in their account so you should have a gmail account for it to log into the google data studio once you do that it will give you uh, one uh, you can see the screenshot here it it, it look like when you, whenever you go to the new sheets new docs or new forms google forms it will show you like create a new form there will you will find some samples there in the same way you will get few samples here again you can create a new dashboards also how to create that that we will learn in our upcoming videos so we will learn step by step so that it will it will uh, reduce your burden of adding the data manually creating the report refreshing every time okay so it will automatically get covered with the help of this google studio or locker studio benefit of using the google studio guys easily you can set up it for your reporting and dashboard you can create n numbers of customized and awesome reports here you can also link to your presentation google pre presentation google said presentation guys so every day whenever you are going for the wbr whenever you are going for any of the uh, review with your managers directly uh, if you add, update your raw data the slides will get update automatically so it may happens okay uh, pulls multiple data source into single report if you have three to four uh, google sheet different google sheet may be owned by you or may be owned by other you can pull it into one studio or you can say you can prepare the dashboard using multiple sheet as well it will work very easily sharing very easily you can share guys okay just you need to share the link and uh, the access you need to provide and uh, rest every everything can be done automatically you can also use slicers here image slicers you can also use uh, uh, different type of graphs uh, the the way how you are preparing manual dashboards in excel everything you can do in this particular uh, studio uh, help to connect user with 150 plus data source data source means excel any programming language docs anything you can connect here monitors campaign effectively reduce the turnaround time on reporting i already told you guys manual work will get reduced so this is a sample dashboard you guys can see here okay in the same way we will prepare uh, quality dashboard in our upcoming videos we will pre prepare capacity dashboard we will also prepare <coughs> kpi dashboard so i have few uh, ideas in my mind we will show you i'll show you in a different way so that uh, if you learn three to four dashboard you can prepare your own dashboard as per your requirement very quickly and trust me guys if you have done this i'll tell you it's a great advantage if you're working with any of the organization because you are you are doing automation to your work so this is clearly very helpful so stay stay tuned guys and uh, please share subscribe the channel also share with your colleagues who are eagerly working uh, on the reports and dashboards so that they will also get to know about this particular thing that's all from my side guys uh, let's catch up on my upcoming videos wherein i will show you how to create the dashboards on the with the help of google studio okay meantime what you guys need to do make sure you have a gmail address go to the particular link and just check the overview of the google studio how it actually looks and uh, when i'll go with the next video just do the practice the same what i, I will be showing you in the videos make sure you guys have uh, checked the instagram facebook and linkedin page as well wherein i will be posting the job vacancies related information and also please share as much as you can require your support a lot guys so that uh, the channel can grow fastly thanks a lot guys thanks for watching have a great day